Hello folks, once again, from a not so secret, very well known location in St. John's, Newfoundland, the steps of the Basilica of St. John's the Baptist, comes a special field trip version of In the Library of Graphic Literature, with your host, me, Wallace Rye. Now of course out that way there is the North Atlantic. You start swimming out there, the first piece of land you hit is Ireland. So this is about as far east as you can get in a city in North America. Uh, about 12 miles or so out that way is the final piece of land. There's a place called Cape Spear. That actually is the final spot before it's most easily put to Canada. So uh, such a beautiful day out here. I thought I'd come out and uh, shoot outside. Very sunny, very warm as you can tell because I've been sweating <laughs> like nothing else. So I dragged some books out here for me to talk about. So let's start out with, of course, one of my favorite, Volume 2 of Kaiju Max from Xander Cannon. This is just an absolutely amazing, amazing comic. Uh, let me get up here and get in your face here and see if I can uh, oh, tilt this so I can see. Check it out. Absolutely amazing artwork. The stories, the stories are absolutely fabulous. If you like kaiju, uh, if you like uh, Godzilla, or and you like comics, this is the book for you. So yeah, Kaiju Max, Volume Two, beautifully done. This, 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 this is a must buy. I love Volume One. I, as a matter of fact, I can't wait to get home and start reading this. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh yes, in my magic bag here my Thursday comics bag which hopefully next week we'll have another episode of that for you. Uh, comes the omnibus, the Morbius omnibus. Dun, 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 dun. And this traces good old Morbius from his early days at, uh, in uh, the Amazing Spider-Man right up through his run in Adventure into Fear. This also has <laughs> Marvel team up number four, yeah number four which is like fourth time maybe third or fourth time that I, I, I have that in a collection but anyway uh, some great work from a lot of great artists Gil Kane uh, and some stuff from the magazines pretty cool eh? well yeah I always kind of like Morbius I thought he was a cool character so uh, check this out this is definitely well worth getting <laughs> Not bad, eh? Okay. Let's put the Morbius away. Love them on the buses, eh? And let's get down to... Oh, make sure I don't trip and fall over, over, over the place here. Let's get down to now... Doomsday Clock. Dun, 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 dun. This is actually... I do have Volume 1 and 2 in here. It actually just came with Volume 2 with the slip case, um, but I, I wanted to put it in just to make it look really cool. Shout out to Mark Critch there who picked up one of these this morning at the shop and I made sure to make sure he gets Volume 1 too because I didn't want him to get home and then realize, hey, well, it shorted me on, <laughs> on one of these issues. Anyway, this is it. I'm, I'm still into Volume 1, but I mean, everyone's been loving this so far. As far as I know, there we go. But I love the artwork and the story so far. It's been uh, keeping up to uh, keeping, keeping up to my high standards. I have not, this is why I'm not looking at this because I don't want any spoilers myself. So I don't know if this is what I'm showing you. Oh, there's the <laughs> there's the tag. Because I know that if I showed you something and looked at it, it would probably be some kind of spoiler, knowing my luck. So yeah, check that out. And of course, like I say, it comes in this beautiful slipcase here. Really cool. Now I'm sure if 
I got a feeling, of course, that we probably will see this in a collected edition. But I know it's kind of cool having this two part there. It's, that's the cover from volume one and the cover from volume two. Not bad, eh? And of course, follow, still following the uh, design language of uh, the original Watchmen uh, series. Pretty cool, anyways. Okay. Now, last, but definitely not least by any stretch of the imagination, this is, of course, another one of these Legends of the Dark Knight books from DC. And this one uh, features the work of Matt Wagner. I love Matt's work. I, I mean, a big Grendel fan for all these years. But I, I also actually really, of all the artists out there, he does a great Batman. Uh, he did a great Batman and Grendel series, um, which I don't think is in this actually. Which, yeah, well, which I'm not surprised. But um, his his style fits it perfectly. There's no one else can. Uh, to me, Batman is always at his best when he's drawn a, a lot more uh, simplistic, like. Uh, like Alex Toth, for instance, he did a great uh, Batman when he did Death, Death Flies, The Hunted Skies, or whatever the one from uh, from Detective Comics years ago. Um, and then other people too, same with Tim Sal, etc., etc. Um, and of course, uh, good old Matt fa falls right into that category. Let's get a close look here. I won't know what pages I'm showing you until I get back to the studio and download this and have a look at it. Yeah, pretty cool, hey? Nice. Yeah, Matt loves your stuff. I met Matt once uh, in Chicago. I got a picture. I'll be trying to find a picture. I got a cool picture of him and I uh, together. When I'd be there, I'd always get someone else to get a picture of me with, with said... Uh, artist or whatever and I know I got a picture somewhere of me and him. This would be from 1998 I think it was. Yeah, very nicely done, hey? So yeah, the uh, Matt Wagner, this is definitely uh, oh and here's the inside front cover without the uh, uh, without the dust jacket on it. I have to be careful because it is a little bit windy here up here because I'm up pretty high actually in comparison. The, uh, the library is actually down this road actually this is this is the road that the library is on. It's just down probably about five minutes that way. So I, I came up here for the But anyway so yeah Matt Wagner's Legends of the Dark Knight. Definitely definitely so well worth the purchase. So yeah it was a great week in terms of books. I mean we Got the second part of the uh, of the Matt Wagner and I mean the, the Morbius omnibus. Looking forward to that. But the Coochie Max to me, I'm just I'm just dying to read that. It's uh, I love the last one and I actually sort of started reading a little a little bit of it last night and all that. So as a matter of fact, when I go home after I uh, download this, I'm actually probably going to uh, probably going to read it. So. Um, of course, without my computer here or without a clock like I had in my other one, I have no idea how long this, this is going. But um, first of all, uh, I, uh, this week, one thing I did see that was really cool this week was um, uh, the Marilyn Schumer's lecture on uh, Superman, the, uh, the classic Fleischer uh, cartoon, which was great. Um, and of course, the the sad news this week is the passing of one of the greatest embellishers out there, and one of the greatest inkers on Jack Kirby, Joe Sinnott. I love Sinnott's work. He he added a shine to Kirby's work that I mean that, that that made it stand out. It's I know there were some other inkers that weren't bad, but to me, when I think Fantastic Four and Jack Kirby, I think of Sinnott inking him. He added that, like I say, this, this gleam to to his machines, to the Silver Surfer, to everything. And uh, yeah, we're all gonna miss him. So uh, best of luck to you, Joe, wherever you are. That being said, um, can't think of any other big big uh, news items. Now next week, uh, starting.
starts DC on their own. <laughs> uh, you'll hear more of me complaining about actually that on, uh, on Thursday Comics. Hopefully now, we, I do believe we have an episode planned for next week. So check it out, me and uh, Dennis Osborne, and check out the other episodes. We've got, geez, we're up to 15 or 16, something like that. Anyway, they're, they're, and some of them are really nice and long too. So, and we just wax eloquent on comics. I love, I love chatting with, uh, with him about it because it's, I don't know, we share, we, we have such a wide range in terms of I'm, I'm the old guy who likes the comics from the old days, which he does too, but he's really rooted in present day too, so we, we can share sort of so much that way. And the other thing is uh, I'm planning a, a special edition of in the Library of Graphic Literature with my good friend Sam Johnson. Sam's a big expert on the uh, Disney comics and stuff like that. Whenever I want to know anything about Walt Disney or a duck comic, I go to Sam. So uh, check that out. It, it will be a separate episode because I don't feel like squeezing Sam in, in, into the tail end of one of these things. He, he has, you have to listen to, to, to him. He, he deserves a full episode. So that being said, I shall uh, sign off now and I'll actually give you a little sweep of uh, from here just to give you an idea of what this city looks like from this point of view. Okay, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. And so, oh, let's, uh, as a matter of fact, let's have a look out. There. There's the Atlantic Ocean there. And now from here, like I say, there's a sort of an old, nice old uh, building there. And there's what we call the South Side Hills over there. And right on over there. And this is actually the Basilica itself. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. When it was built, it was actually the biggest church in North America. So okay. Thank you very much for tuning in. Love you all and see you next week. Okay.